Their Tower of London, large as life. Large as life. The ghost of Anne Boleyn walks, I declare. He declares. For Anne Boleyn was once King Henry's wife. King Henry's wife. Until he made the Edsman Bob her heir. Bob her heir. Ah, yes, he did her wrong, long years ago. Long years ago. And she comes up at night to tell him so. Oh, oh, oh. With her head. Her head. Took Underneath her arm she walks in a bloody tower With her head tucked underneath her arm At the midnight hour She comes to haunt King Henry She means giving him what for That's up she's going to tell him off For having spilled her gore And just in case the headsman wants to give her an encore she has her head tucked underneath her arm. Sometimes gay King Henry gives a spread. Gives a spread. For all his pals and bells, a ghostly crew. A ghostly crew. The headsman carves the joint and cuts the bread. And cuts the bread. Then in comes Anne Boleyn to queer the do. She holds her head up with a wild war whoop. Woof, woof, woof. And Henry says, don't drop it in the soup. The soup, the soup, the soup. With her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody tower. With her head tucked underneath her arm at the midnight hour. The sentries think that it's a football that she carries in. And when they've had a few, they shout, his army going to win. They think that it's Doc Blanchard instead of poor old Anne Boleyn, with their head tucked underneath their arm. Along the drafty corridors for miles and miles she goes. She, goes. she often catches cold, poor thing, it's cold there when it blows. <laughs> And it's awfully awkward for the Queen to have to blow her nose <laughs> With her head tucked underneath her arm With her head tucked, head tucked underneath her arm